Hey, everybody. Uh, a few weeks ago, uh, November 5th, to be precise, I did a blog post on automatically posting to Blue Sky for new RSS items. Uh, the idea being that you have your blog and you want to automatically post to Blue Sky when you post and you want to do that in a, an automated way to make it automated. <laughs> I'll keep saying automated until it makes sense. Um, I wrote the blog post and then I got a bunch of comments in where people were a bit confused about things and looking over my post, I realized that I could have made things a bit more clear. So the idea for this video is to just create a video version of it so you can see everything bit by bit. Uh, you should still read this blog post and I'll link to it in the video description. Uh, but you know, hopefully this helps reach out to me with any questions and, uh, Let's give this a shot, huh? So first off, I'm going to assume that you actually have a Blue Sky account that's going to be required to post to Blue Sky. And I'm also assuming that you have a RSS feed in mind. Doesn't have to be a blog. It doesn't have to be your blog even, uh, but it has to be some RSS feed. I'm also assuming that you have a Pipedream account. Now, Pipedream has a great free tier, and I'm mostly sure uh, that this will work underneath that. But you do want to keep that in mind if you want to actually build this particular workflow. So speaking of workflow, I have created my workflow, post to Blue Sky on new RSS. And this, let's actually start building this out. And I'm going to click Edit. And the first thing I'm going to do is add a RSS trigger. Now, it happens to be a popular <laughs> trigger, so it's right there new item in RSS feed. I'm going to get my RSS URL from my blog and just drop it in there. And as soon as I do this, uh, the workflow is going to fetch my RSS and get some test data. One really cool thing about this trigger is that outside of testing, once you've set it, it automatically remembers what it checked before. So it won't repost old stuff. Uh, it will only do new things uh, from your feed. And all that aspect is just done for you. So for our testing, we're going to pick an event, which would be an RSS item, and we will pick the last one uh, like that. And you can see all the data that fired uh, based on that RSS data. Cool. So now oh, uh, let's add a code step. And what that code step is going to do is actually generate the text for uh, my particular post and we'll call it generate text. And at this point, we are just going to kind of arbitrarily decide what we want for our post. And for me, what I did was this new post from my blog, the steps trigger event title, which is just the title of the RSS feed. And if we go back to the trigger and click on more, you could see there's title, go back to the code, and then the link would be a link to the post. So let's just test this to make sure it works. It should create a string. And there we go. Let's see, new post from my blog, INTL is your superhero. And there's a link. Next thing we're going to do is actually create the post to blue sky logic. So we will again run some custom code and we'll call this post to blue sky. Now I'm not going to try to explain the entire SDK here. Uh, basically what I did was look at the docs and got the bare minimum I needed to get stuff done. Uh, but we will do some imports to get the Blue Sky SDK. And then we will create an agent, basically a way to interact with the SDK. And that is kind of the sample code right there. Let me tab that over one more time just to make it look a bit better. But essentially, connect the Blue Sky and then pass in my username and password. I am going to use my real username and password. Kinda, you'll see what I mean in a second. Where my identifier is RaymondCamden.com and my password is a 
environment variable. Uh, Pipe Dream lets you set up environment variables that you could use throughout your workflow. So at this point, all I have is connect to Blue Sky. How do we actually post? Well, there's a couple of ways of doing that, but the simplest way, and I'll just copy and paste this so you're not hearing me type too much, is as such. Uh, let me tab that one more time. There we go. All right. So what we're going to do is create a rich text object. And the reason for that is that it's simpler to post basic text. But if you want anything that has automatic links, so if you're posting a URL, you want that URL to, to be clickable, you have to use rich text instead, give it the text that you want to be hot linked, and then run detect facets on it. That's the way that Blue Sky refers to it. So in this case, I have some hard-coded text, but what I really want is the text from my previous step, steps.generatetext.returnValue.text. Uh, but again, that was, what was it, new post from my blog with that link. And using this rich text API and using detect facets and passing that to the API, that all together will take the text, make it automatically hot linked, and then post to Blue Sky. And I actually, in the blog post, I'm pretty sure I share an example of that working. And boom, you could see it right there. So that worked. Okay, but what I really wanted was that social media card. And we'll scroll past the code to show you an example of that. What you see right there where uh, it includes the description and includes the header image I picked for the post makes it a lot more enticing, I guess. Uh, and so to do that, we got to get a bit more complex. So the image and the description for my blog post is not in the RSS feed. I could add it, I guess technically it wouldn't be to spec, but it's not there. So instead, what I'm going to use is a cool library called Cheerio. I'm gonna import that right on top. And Cheerio is a bit like jQuery for Node.js, uh, and it lets you get content and then work with it. So for Blue Sky, that social media thing is called a card. So I start off by creating an object. I'll do it before the post, like so. Uh, and I begin with the URL, which comes from that trigger, the title of my blog post, which comes from that trigger. We also need a bit more. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually get the blog post and parse it for Cheerio. So let's drop that in there. And I'm not gonna worry too much about my spacing for this, but essentially grab the blog post content and pass it or pass the HTML to Cheerio. The description for a particular post is gonna be in a meta tag. And let's actually, let's actually show you what I mean. I'll view source and right there, make that a little bigger for you, that OG description, that is the uh, data that I need. So I'll bring that back, back over here. And then to, so to get that, again, using Cheerio, I'm gonna do it like so. Uh, basically look for the meta tag with the name OG description and get the content attribute from that. The next thing I want is the image and that's a little bit more work. So for that, I'll paste it in and then I'll explain it. We have to grab the image, which is one more meta tag. I'm gonna get the blob or the binary data from that. And then I'm gonna upload this to Blue Sky, uh, which then lets me use the resulting blob uh, in a property called thumb for my card. And then really like that's it. Uh, in order to pass this to Blue Sky, we're gonna add a embed value here. And again, try to make that look a little bit nicer. Uh, and one thing that my blog post had that I'll copy here is to go ahead and specify the langs, the languages that my post is in, which is just E-N-U-S. So the modification again was to create a card object and to get the data for the card, I had to essentially look at the HTML. For that, I used Cheerio. 
Again, think like jQuery. Got those values. The description was just simple text. The image I have to actually upload to Blue Sky uh, so it has access to it. And literally, that is it. And we're going to test this. And over here on my side, I have the, my, my Blue Sky browser open. I could see it. And I'm going to hit test and see if I missed anything. Oh, I know something I missed already, actually. We should get an error. And yep, rich text is not defined. Easy peasy. Forgot to import that from the Blue Sky SDK. So we'll test this again. And let's see if it works. And it is happy on the pipe dream side. And I just saw my post pop up on Blue Sky. So this is working. Um, after I'm done with the video, I'm going to merge this to production. You will have access to the GitHub repository for this workflow. Now, I am going to turn it off. That way, I don't have this running twice because I already have an existing workflow. But uh, you'll see the two steps. You'll have access to all of that code. And in theory, you can use this in your own workflow. Let me know if you have any questions. And uh, I hope this works for you. Bye.